Well, as promised, we haven't filmed anything today. It's almost nighttime. It's almost dark outside. You see that? Look at that. What have we done today? We have relaxed. And the other thing that I've done is slowly started to switch things out in the new truck. Car, SUV. I know, certainly not a truck. I know, I know, I know, I know. I uh, got the insurance transferred over. So now we're paying for double insurance right now. <laughs> so it's that much more imperative that, and some of you would have asked, we're gonna be selling the other Escape. Cause like I said, I don't wanna to have to put money into it for an engine or transmission when the value of the car is about what a transmission or engine would cost. Just doesn't make financial sense. sense. So that was one of the reasons for this also. All right, so not much is really going on today, guys. Um, I am here at Lowe's. I'm going to get a mat. Oh, now you can't see me. I'm going to get a mat to put in the back of the truck. Here, let's do this. Ah, look, you can kind of see me now. Today I was able to find some floor mats online um, to absorb, not absorb spills, but contain spills um, because especially in my line of work and using this for also a work vehicle, um, I don't want to get uh, the carpet all nasty with any oil or coolant or anything like that. Ooh. Why are you a little off kilter? Uh, I didn't can. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Although they probably can't tell. You guys can't tell if we're off center, can you? Okay. <sighs> So here it is. It is time for COC for the last like five, six, seven nights, something like that. Uh, so I've gone and compiled comments, except for the very last uh, day. We're going to read everybody's comments for the last day. Where's she going? What is she doing? She knows that you're busy. She, she left. So Buffy left. She usually tries to get into some mischief while you're talking because she knows that you're preoccupied. And she's back now. Hey, what are you doing? Looking for toys that I shouldn't be playing with. Ah. She's down here now. There you guys. Can you guys see her head? I'm not sure. There. Okay. Anyway, here we go. Um, this is from the vlog. More cards and cookies. And um, I do want, we both want to thank everybody for all their warm Christmas wishes over the last several uh, days. Thank you. And of course, we hope that you had a good Christmas. Hanukkah. Kwanzaa whatever you celebrate, or even if you don't. Mr. Brot, I had a possessed horn on my truck once I didn't even tap the horn. Just started for no reason. Beep! I was in the middle of town at an intersection waiting to turn left. Everyone was staring, and the driver in front of me reached out of his window and pointed one finger in the sky. Oh. After about a minute, I was able finally I was finally able to pull over, get out, open the hood, and unplug the horn. The problem was a wire in the horn, and the steering column was rubbing and wrapped around the plug for the blinker arm. A heat shrink tube was all it took to fix. That Very would have been embarrassing. Funny to watch. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Crystal S, I'm sorry I didn't send you guys a card this year. My family has been hit terribly by this year, or this year by my dad passing, and we had to move in with my grandma. I also wish you guys a happy new year. Oh, so sorry to hear that. Um. But thank you for being the first person to wish us a happy new year. Mm. And I hope that your new year is on the up and up. <sighs> oh, man. Okay. <sighs> I love Christmas. It's so magical vlog. John John 9111. You oh, first of all, he yells. So you said a short vlog for Christmas, but 1248 is somewhat of a long vlog. Well, 1248 may be a long vlog, but I didn't mean this vlog. I meant the Christmas vlog. I even stated it in this vlog at the end of it. So, thanks. Nick Cheryl, Angie, what was your favorite Christmas toy when you that you got when you were little? You know, I thought about that. And I couldn't think of a toy that came to mind, but I did get a Newt once. Newt, Newt! For Christmas, and I really liked it a lot. A Newt for a Christmas? Newt. I got a Newt. Hmm. Named him Isaac. Isaac? Where did you get the name from? Isaac Newton. <laughs> <laughs> That's fitting. Uh, Jay Dubs, I had a super duper post on Trucker Josh's page and got an awesome possum back. LOL. Merry Christmas. Trip 27, tell Phoenix to be wary of big presents like that. When I was a kid, we went to the family Christmas on my dad's side and there was a box three times that size with my name on it. I was so excited. 
but when it came time to unwrap it, there was a long series of increasingly smaller boxes. When it was all over, there was a small box filled with puffed rice and an index card saying, never ever trust grandpa. Wow. I'd be upset. <laughs> I mean, wow. I mean, I've, I've seen lots of gifts that way, mm -hmm. but usually you get down to that small thing in the middle and it's like, wow, this is awesome after all of the unwrapping, but all uh, you got was puffed rice. <laughs> that's a good question. What is, and I know it's after Christmas now, but who cares? Um, what is one gift that you got that had extremely creative wrapping and what was it? Or have you created an extremely like off the wall wrapping job? Cause I remember one time you talked about putting different things. I've seen people put bricks in like a box with a gift card so that they can't tell what it is. And then you had made some, a mention to something that somebody had done to you uh, or no, you had done someone else. No, TJ got a, um, a stuffed animal from my brother. It was like a big stuffed moose, I believe. It was a bear or a moose. I think it was a moose to begin with. Stuffed moose. Great big stuffed moose with a knife tied around his neck or a pair of scissors or something. And he had to cut open <laughs> the belly of the stuffed animal and inside it was another stuffed animal. And then he had to cut that one open. And then there was another stuffed animal and it went like four stuffed animals deep. And then there was a gift card inside. Wow. <laughs> Stuffed animal murdering on Christmas. Yep. <laughs> uh, speaking of... Oh, no. Oh, wait. Hold on. Oh, yeah. Speaking of Christmas. Best Christmas ever. Halloween fur. I love Phoenix's reaction when all you got... Or when you got... When you all got sleds. Yeah. And the major thing about that is because we've gone sledding before. And they were actually kind of like inner tubes or something like that. Kind of like yeah, an inflatable they're... thing. Yeah. But, uh... Like what two years in a row Phoenix and I have gone sledding so this year you get to join us It's gonna be so much fun and we'll probably end up going sometime this year no, Oh, no, we'll go sometime next year <laughs> <laughs> Okay Aloha Laura. I love the way that you edited this. Um, yeah, the Christmas vlog uh, was something that I wanted to do really short and instead of showing like all the gifts we got or whatever, I was aiming more for the whole experience of everything. Um, I was going to keep the music rolling, but Phoenix and the sleds and everything, I had to include the audio there because nothing drives me nuttier, battier, crazier than when I'm watching a video that has music and people are talking, but you can't hear what they're saying. Oh, that drives me crazy. In the worst way. Wow. Well, doesn't it, if you can't read their lips, I mean, obviously, if they're saying something like, you know, a swear word or something like that, then you can... No, I'm okay with it. It doesn't bother me. I don't need to know what they're saying. I need to know. That bothers me. <laughs> it also bothers me when people film videos, but they never show themselves. That bothers me, too. Troy's pet peeves. Huh. Condiment jars in the refrigerator that you have like a little bit of ketchup at the top or a little bit of mustard at the top or it gets messy on the lid. That drives me crazy too. Anyway, any, anywhere, anywhere, anyway. Well, that was embarrassing. As so is this. Aloha, Laura. At least they didn't look in your ear or up your nose. Yeah, when they were looking at my head with a microscope, looking at my little fuzzy hairs starting to come out or whatever. <laughs> Phoenix found the red dot. This one. <laughs> Thanks, babe. It's like a birthmark or something. I doubt that. Yeah. It is. Oh, okay. It's always there. Hmm. Halloween for hope everyone has a good day. I'm trying to look on the bright side, but not to be a downer. But I have to have a plumber come out because my main pipe is backing up to the house. I hate when my main pipe backs up. Oh. I know, I'm trying to make fun of it too. Um, so, yeah. So, let us know how that turned out. Having any kind of pipe problems, especially in winter, is... Oh, it sucks. That's the worst. And to answer Angie's question, we always leave stuff up until after new year's because it's supposed to be bad luck to take it down before hmm. hmm i didn't know that and a lot of you in this vlog because i remember that i'd asked when do you guys take your stuff down a lot of people are at the first or at just after the first tony frederickson pre-covid we hosted family christmases uh first weekend after new year's i guess is when you're saying that you take things down 
uh, cramming 40 family members into our house. So for 20 years now, I left everything decorated and lit. Not this year. As long as snow is on the ground, I will keep my subdued white glowing lights inside. Outside turns off New Year's Day. That makes sense. Yeah. It's definitely different this year. It is. And a lot of people have said, you know, I hope that you have a better year than this year. And I know that we've said it before, but last year wasn't totally terrible. It was actually a pretty good year. You're here. Well, I don't mean last year. I mean this year. Uh, the Grinch. So are we going to see pictures of the Great Red Spot? Are we going to have updates on it? Satellite pictures? Good job, Phoenix. Thanks, Phoenix. And no. No updates on my, how do you say red in German? Ask Mr. Brot. Mr. Brot, how do you say, <laughs> hey Google, how do you say red in German? In German, that's gold. <laughs> gold? <laughs> I've got a... It did sound like she said I've got that. a gold punked on my head. Gold. <laughs> Because I know the, like, blau punked, that's a blue dot, so punked is dot, right? Okay. Anyway, I digress. <laughs> Trip 27, my decorations stay up through mid-January. It's nice to have a bit of bright color to light up the dark nights, especially right now. Yeah. I agree. Uh, ben Massey, happy Boxing Day, Angie. Thanks. <laughs> Screw yeah, you guys don't really do... No, because we do our day. Black Friday. You guys are starting to get into that more, aren't you? Uh, if no. you're able to come down to the States, you are. They, there's always... A lot of Canadians come down to the States. There's something in my eye. Your finger? <laughs> no. But then again. Um, they do sales for Black Friday. But it's like... Not like it is here? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> but Boxing Day is a big day. Boxing Day is kind of like Black Friday. People used to like flock to the stores. I'm sure it didn't happen this year, but... With all the lockdown and everything, but... So. Well, it makes sense, because a lot of the people selling things are <laughs> wanting to get rid of things, so let's offer a sale yeah. of all the stuff that we need to get rid of. But it was also kind of like a continuation of Christmas Day, and you'd still have, like, family coming over and guests, and it's more like a lot of people do, like, open house, where they're home all day, and they're... They got like a buffet table of snacks and food out and there's drinks to be had and eggnog and everybody just comes and visits and has a good time. Hmm. Boxing day. Boxing day. It's, you know, it's, it's funny. It's pretty big in Canada. I, I didn't know what it was and growing up in the 80s you had Bob and Doug McKenzie and the Great White North and everything and you know the what was it the 12 days of Christmas right that they did mm -hmm. and they've got a uh, they're trying to figure out what are the 12 days of Christmas and one's like Boxing Day. And I'm like, Boxing Day? That's what I thought it was. That's what I thought a lot of people thought it was. And I'm losing my stuff. How do you know a lot of people thought that? Because I asked them. You asked them. <laughs> yeah. Um, Scooters and Games, Emerald Gypsy Heart. Uh, Phoenix didn't even flinch at 12.03. I looked at the 12.03 timestamp and I think that you were... Uh, not having the right timestamp because I don't know where you were referring to I think because he that wasn't she, there. Um, Didn't I flinch think about it was what? Earlier than that, and I think it was when the the Jenga tower fell because oh. he literally just was like <laughs> he didn't even move when it oh. fell. It, it was actually kind of weird looking. Okay, Bren, the boy shredding on a scooter. Maybe you and Angie should get some bikes or a scooter to join in on the fun and it, and it's great exercise, or maybe a tandem bike. Well, that's just silly, Bren. <laughs> <laughs> well, you don't want to be that couple couple on a tandem bike? We could, like... The couple couple? Yeah, we could take, like, our white polo t-shirts and, like, you know, tie them around her neck and, you know, drink with our pinkies up and... You drink with your pinky up anyway. <laughs> I'm giving away all my secrets. Real fan Jason, a Phoenix at 1.30, and yes, I saw him vlog bombing me in the back of the truck. That was funny. Okay, so the vlog, uh, we can't keep it a secret any longer. I was going through trying to figure out what comments I was going to read. And then it's like, oh, I'm just going to read every, all of them. And every all. Every all, yep. So, uh, we're going to shotgun these. Are you ready? Mm hmm Okay. Mr. Broat, did I get first again? Jeepers Creepers. Yes, you did. Bone Daddy. E. Randall Train. Oh, Bone Daddy Randall. Randall from West Coast. <laughs> I always get a kick out of car salesmen. Little do they know. Some people know about cars. 
This is true. And you also say, oh, congrats. Thank you very much. I'm very happy. John John 9111. Troy, you have the best escape out there. My family had every different model escape out there. They are a pile of, oh, poo. <laughs> My one cousin had the escape with the CVT and it fell out of the car. Yes, it's a car now. Only after owning it for a week took two. Okay. Yeah, well, my escape has been just fine. Oh, I thought you wanted a van, not a car. No, I've never wanted a van. Yeah, you want a... Uh, oh, a, a shop van. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's different. That's coming separately. This... this particular purchase was to replace our main vehicle that is aging Daily and driver. dying and I know I don't feel good driving it knowing that it could break down on me when I'm out. Mm -hmm. I And there there's been signs and I am not going to go into And you them. want to you want to have a reliable vehicle in the family and we don't want to be driving Phoenix around in something that's yeah. maybe not going to get us back from a family outing or something or so it had to be done. It did. It's just like if your hot water tank goes or something. You have oh, to... dude, knock on some wood. We have other things. It's going. I know it's no, going to go. Uh, let's not talk about the furnace, too. Friend. But, but I, I I, got off on a yep. tangent there. Um, okay. Shotgun. He is go. getting a work truck eventually. Eventually. Eventually, eventually I will. Fran Roy or Troy, if you're going to buy a new car van, get a GM. Best way to go. I used to be into General Motors. I used to be a Chevy guy, but... Um, I kept ending up with Fords, and I, I actually I like Fords. I don't see anything wrong with them. And everybody says, ooh, Fords break down the most. Well, Ford is also one of the number one vehicles on the road, too. So, of course, when there's more of something, you're going to have more of everything. So, to each their own. It's the flavor of life. Tyler Bocamp, um, or is it Beecham? I know it's Bocamp, but we're watching the show on TV. You never know. Yeah. Could be. Uh, we don't have any Coke Life around here. Check your window stickers. Where were your escapes manufactured? Um, mine was manufactured in the States. I can't remember. Yeah, there's a sticker. There's I, a sticker. I remember I seeing the sticker and I was like, what's that? <laughs> I don't remember where in the States. Halloween first. Sweet new car. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Emerald Gypsy Heart. Awesome possum on the new vehicle. You keep your, you keeping the old one so Angie has something to run around if she needs? No. She will be getting her own vehicle um, when the time Eventually. comes for that. Don't need it yet. Yeah. Um, no, oh, and, and you did reply to her with that too. Awesome. Awesome. Uh, Mr. Broat, I will never buy a brand new car again. A one or two year car is the best bang for the buck. Good luck with your new ride. Nice. The diet scandal. You would be surprised at how many people drink diet soda because they are on a diet. Yeah. And if you tell them they would be better off drinking regular soda, it's all bad for you in my opinion. They would think that you're crazy and the diet scandal goes on. Surprise that no one has sued for false advertisement. I agree. I agree. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, sugar is actually the best thing for you. Your body can process it. And high fructose corn syrup is horrible. It makes your body store energy, which makes people go <clears throat> like that. And you don't want to do that. So, and also about the car. Yes, having it be one or two years old. This was a lease car. So we know that it was taken care of. Um, it works out all the kinks in the car and everything and kind of breaks them in and you don't have that $20,000, you drive it off a lot and depreciates yep. so much. So, and of... you don't have to cry the first time that you get that little, or the oh, parking yeah. lot door ding, ding from somebody else. It's already there. So <laughs> you're okay. <laughs> well, yeah. Um, Bama 1954, nice new truck. You guys probably don't need to worry about the Stevia, but Stevia is used as a contraceptive in South African countries. Awesome. Wow. So I'm not going to give birth. That's a good thing. <laughs> Bren, never forget the Hellmouth Bronco. My brother-in-law sold his and regrets it, so make sure I, I tell him it was a bad idea to sell. But hey, nice SUV dude, not a truck. Yes, I know it's not a truck. Um, and yes, I do miss my Bronco. But my Bronco is also the reason why my back, you guys didn't know, my back is screwed up because the seat sat like this and I have problems to this day with that. But I miss that truck. Ralph and Jason, a friend of mine, got one of those a couple years ago. He really likes it. Congrats. Two videos in a row of Troy being goofed on behind his back. It happens. You did it last night. Phoenix did it the day before. Huh. 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 Maria Rica, congratulations. Congratulations, Troy, on your new SUV. Have lots of fun and safe travels with it. Don't work it too hard now. Live the brand, though. <laughs> For some reason, the Chevy, like a rock, stuck in my head. I'm like, sink. I don't know why. Yeah. 
the Intermec Nation. Okay, stop. Line? Just or an stop. Enig Enigma. <laughs> <laughs> Nicole Flynn. <laughs> there. <laughs> <laughs> I'll get you back later when it's not. There's no witnesses. <sighs> Nicole Flynn. Oh my eye. <laughs> Nicole Flynn, I love your new car. It's super duper. Your other car name is Anya. You get, I think I said 5,000 hell points, right? You get 5,000 hell points. Anya. And, <laughs> yeah. And here it is. What should I name this one? Not Anya. I need a new name for the new SUV. <laughs> Post it down below, please, everybody. Escape. That's uh, all it is. It's just the Escape. Uh, Seen that services, nice ride, Troy. Have you checked the, the poo Oh, the P.O. box. <laughs> I sent a card. Uh, no, I will go and I'll check that uh, sometime this week. Uh, ben Massey, congratulations on the new ride. Thanks, Ben. Monica Bredesen, the car problems are a pain. Had some work done on my car recently. It was about $1,300. Ouch. See, if I had replaced the transmission in this one here, the transmission alone would have been like about $1,500. Bucks. Re the car's only worth like $2,500, $3,000, somewhere in there. So it just makes no sense to continuously do that. And I would have downtime too. I can't have downtime because I use it for work. Hello, Halara. I know I'm watching this late, but your other car was named Anya. You were the second one. I'll give you 3,000 health points. Uh, congratulations on your new baby. Thank you. And you know, no, I take that back. I want to give you 5,000 because I can't control when you guys watch or whatever, and you knew it, so you knew it. Ah, okay, yes, okay. yes. Much more fair. I know, yeah. I, I try to be fair. Very, very <laughs> useless words. See, fair. Uh, love the new car. I need to eventually get a better new-to-me car. Um... I've got a 2004 Escape to sell you if you want to come and get it. No, you don't want this one. J-Dubs, there are other vehicles out there. You gave up on the first one. No, it wasn't the first one. Um, I had wanted an Escape, and we had looked at several ones before this. Uh, never mind, spoke too soon. <laughs> As the title of the vlog, I can't keep it a secret any longer. Yeah. This isn't a... This, this has been in the works for a couple weeks. Yeah, we've been looking. talking about it. Uh... Just go all out and get a 2021 new year. They claim 2021 will be a good year, so go for it. Hmm. <laughs> well, 2020, well, no. It, it goes back to buying it straight off the lot, brand new. It's like the depreciation once you buy it. It's like, no, this makes this sense. This one's pretty nice inside. I, I, um... It is. It's still got a new car smell, too, which is amazing. It's comfortable, and it feels updated inside. It was hard for me to go from my little tech car mm -hmm. into Anya because she was definitely an older vehicle to me. Oh, right. <laughs> this one feels kind of more on par with with what I was driving. I just miss the sunroof. I, I know I will in the summertime. J-Dubs, what did you name the new one? We haven't yet, so if you guys think of a name, post it down below, please. And is there anybody out there besides me who doesn't name their vehicles? I, I, I don't I name, name them. Vehicles. It's just the car. Huh. The car. Actually, no, for a while we called mine Coon Killer. <laughs> but that didn't even stick, so no. <laughs> <laughs> the Coon did, though. Oh, no, the Coon didn't <laughs> stick didn't because stick. I needed you, the had, fur. <laughs> you needed to have hair in it in order to prove that... It was a. It's a animal. long story. Oh yeah, uh, Steve Wilmoth, Rusty. Well, Is I have a car's name. Well, I don't, <laughs> I don't know. I I didn't ask for a name yet, so it couldn't have been a car's name. Are you Rusty? Are you saying I'm Rusty? Is a car Rusty? Who's Rusty? What? I don't know. Okay, we're almost done. Promise. Scream and Scott. Congratulations on your new car. I myself have a 2016 Ford Escape, and I love it. I found that the key to loving your new car is to wait a really long time so that the old car pales in comparison to the new one. Oh yeah, there's some truth to that. Before I got my new Ford, I was driving a 2008 Honda CRV. It was a great car while it lasted, but the new one is so much better. Yeah, so I've had this car for or the old one, the 07 Escape. I had that one for almost five years and put about 60,000 miles on it, but it was high mileage when I got it. It had like a um, hundred and four. Uh, 140,000 miles it when I got it. It was still from the Bronco, oh, God. the tin can type drive that the Bronco was, to this one that, you, that you're getting rid of, Anya. Yeah. <laughs> There's a big difference in how both of those rode, so oh, that, yeah. one, that one felt like night and day next to the Bronco, and oh, yes, now this did. one is like night and day from the old one. So. It is. It is. And I'm sad that I don't have a... following your 
I don't have a capable trail rig anymore, and that really yeah. disturbs me. But a trail rig like my Bronco, it would have been fine if it wasn't my everyday driver. If it was something that we put on a flatbed and took up the, to the trail or, you know, the uh, impending apocalypse, if it happens, then, you know, we jump in the Bronco and go. The SUVs out there will get you, like, over snow and stuff, but as far as the four-wheel drive on them, uh, you're not going to be rock climbing or anything. Buffy. Stop. You just had a bath. Stop cleaning Stop. yourself. You're clean. <laughs> <laughs> she actually looks like a little puffball right now, but we have to get this done. Ontario uh, Man 100, we just got our 2019 Ford Explorer on Tuesday. Nice. Congrats on Congrats. a new car. Did Angie not have a car in Canada? I did. And I, I had to leave it behind. I had to leave it behind. I'll get a new I'll one. I'll get a new one later. <laughs> I, don't I don't need, need one, one of my own yet. <laughs> Yeah, I, I was going to drive my car down here and then figure out how to deal with it. That was the original plan. Yeah. Because it doesn't have tire sensors. But yeah. then I ended up having to fly down here and had to leave it in Canada. So I ended up selling it by courier. <laughs> Couriering the papers back and forth to get signatures. and. Yeah, but yeah. we could not import her car because the year of her car had to have the same... Uh, safety guidelines as not the NTSB but the uh, whatever I can't remember what it is the Department of Transportation um, and in Canada uh, your TPMS tire pressure monitoring system Doesn't come is on not required standard. in Canada but it is required here so it has the car if you're to import it whatever model you're has to have the same safety features as an American car and it didn't so we would not be able to import it unless we wanted to change the computer put wheel sensors on it and and go through all that and it's like oh uh, no that that would have been that wouldn't made sense either so last question and we'll get you guys out of here at 25 minutes sorry uh, Joe Papenhagen do you do a trade-in or selling it by yourself if I traded it in I would have only gotten a maximum of like fifteen hundred to two thousand dollars for it selling it i can get another thousand out of it so we're selling it and then i've also got a full set of a set of tires that i got two years ago you guys can remember that three years ago now uh that uh don't fit on the new one so yeah there is that so winter, are you able to sell yeah, them and that's just it. Perfect time right now to sell those winter tires. So that's what we're going to do. So thank you guys so much for commenting. <clears throat> I need to get some water. And we, oh, we got salamander arms. Oh, sal no, I have you? a salamander hand. That's what it is. That's disgusting. All right, guys. See you tomorrow. Happy haunting. Bye. Bye. <laughs>